Forever Winter official trailer. Let's go! Fun dog. Are you a fun dog? So, here's the deal. These yes. past few months, we've had an outpour of positive reception from you guys around what we're creating. And we really want to get that game out to you sooner. Mm -hmm. That's why we're diving right into early access on September 20. <laughs> this is like fourth wall. They're breaking the fourth wall. They're making the character in in the game announce the uh, the the schmackle. That's interesting. 24 early access. Okay, you're an up dog. I've heard that one before. That's pretty cool. Fourth, 2024. And a heartfelt thank you to everyone who participated in the beta. The team has been rocking around the clock to incorporate a ton of the feedback you guys gave us. And we can't wait to share the progress. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't believe anyone should have to pay more than 50 USD for a game. And if you yeah, want to support yeah, the yeah, team yeah, yeah, yeah. beyond the initial price point, that is awesome. And we Dude, 50 USD game, it should be really worth it. That's what I think. I, I don't usually buy games at that price point it has to be something i look forward to and it has to be really good undoubtedly good but that's good that they uh, it's not 50 dollars mm. although there's also like there's a local price though but how much is it for me Oh, it doesn't say yet. Because it it changes. The price changes depending where you live. Well, that's good that it's not $50. Really appreciate it. There will be a special edition with the game's soundtrack Ooh. and Jason's awesome tunes. But that should be your choice. That based on how much you guys think the game. So the Forever Winter is going to be $27 at early access. There will be zero pay-to-win solutions. You will Zero earn pay to win. No. Skill or luck, That's new. And you will not be able to buy your way into Nirvana. You will never be charged for a new character. Oh, that's kind of new for games that are being released these days. Everything is uh, <laughs> expensive as fuck. <laughs> and everything costs. Uh, oh my god, speaking of. Oh my god, speaking of. The DLC for uh, Risk of Rain, though. Uh, I was really looking forward to it. And I was thinking, like, first day. That they release it, I'm gonna buy that shit. And then, of course, there's a lot of bad things. And then I went to the store page of Risk of Rain DLC. And I changed my mind. I don't want to buy the DLC <laughs> now. <laughs> it's mostly negative reviews. Oh my god, dude. Ah. 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 Never charge for a character? What is this magic? I don't know. This is sorcery. It should be when you buy a game. You will not be charged for maps, guns, additional quests, new bosses, and more. That Dude, I hope this remains to be true for the future as well. Because they're gonna eat everything they said if they change it in the future. Because isn't there something that happened to other games? Like, they said they're not gonna charge anything and then in the future they do. I hope they don't do that. 15 euro for a half finished DLC gearbox can suck an egg. <laughs> oh my god, half finished DLC. It's so sad. <laughs> ah, ah, sad. Already on my wishes and ready to go. Yeah, this one looks interesting. And also, it has multiplayer from what I've seen in that overview. So that, that would be interesting. They're going diamond shit is for the birds. I hope it's good. charge for skin packs and any sales the game there will go to good. supporting so. the character team. And allowing us to make even more baller characters in the future. Now, why do all this? I fondly remember a time growing up in the 90s when you could go to Comp USA and buy a box copy of Command and Conquer, Ooh, Giant Citizen Kabuto, That's a nice hair. This is a nice character. I haven't seen someone. I haven't seen a game character rendered like this. Like the hair is. Metal. That's pretty cool. D for 50 bucks. It looks white and metal. <laughs> Ooh. I'm really hoping we can get back there. Now for the roadmap. We really respect what the homies did with Ready or Not. Having the balls to release Greybox maps into their map lineup was incredible. 
So we're taking a page out of their book. Just to be safe, don't we order it. Yeah. We will give you one work in progress map early, so you guys I'm gonna can scope wait. it out. Have I'm gonna wait for the reviews. And hopefully, give the team some super helpful feedback, so we can make them even more kick ass when they drop fully. Taking it one step further, we want the community to get a chance to vote on which bosses and which features we bring online first in our post-launch plan. Anyone who bought the game will get access to an exclusive channel in our Discord. There, you will be able to vote on what or who drops next. Mm. The art team and our brothers at Evolve 512 broke our backs to make sure we planned months in advance to give you guys the post-apocalyptic road trip Aww. you deserve. And if the game does well, shit. We want to bring this art style to entirely new environments in the, the future. The art style is pretty it's good, It's going to be yeah. a wild ride. Now let's talk hosting. Regardless of how many people play, you will always be able to play with your friends locally and via peer-to-peer -peer hosting. Peer-to-peer -peer hosting. We learned from the nightmare some of our industry colleagues have gone through this past year. So that means no infinite loop matchmaking bugs and no flooded servers where you can't jump into what you just bought. So like heaven we did this cyberpunk? so that no mm -hmm. matter what happens, when you buy our game, you can jump in and rock and roll. Even if it's sold. Dude, I hope the peer-to-peer -peer hosting is good though. Because sometimes, for example, oh my god, I'm going back to Resident Brain again. Sometimes there's a lag when playing Resident Brain because they also do that, right? Peer-to-peer -peer hosting, but when we play um, Gunfire Reborn, there's not much lag. So I hope the connection is similar to Gunfire Reborn. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to wait. I'm, I'm gonna wait for the reviews. I'm gonna wait for the reviews. If it's mostly positive or like overly positive, I'm gonna consider this game for sure. Happens When you buy our game, you can jump in and rock and roll, even if it's solo. If you want to reach out to the dev team, hit up the Discord. There's a ton of homies in there that love Grimdark just as much as we do. Grimdark. Now on a more somber note, these past few months, we lost Spec Ops The Line Project Boundary, oh, no. and now they are shutting down the Battlefield 3 servers. The reality is, in the never-ending quest for profit, they are closing the gate on some really special games that inspired oh, no. us. Games That's cost sad. more now to develop than they ever have, and that means risk mitigation is priority one, two, and three. And remember, it's not their fault. They're a product of their environment, and that's why this year has been so inspiring to see other crews breaking out of that muck to bring the magic, one ammo belt at a time. Lastly, words cannot express how much we appreciate your support. People from all nations and all ages have reached out, just to say, thanks for going there and handling the subject with the care and energy it deserves. This means we're not alone in hoping we see a new kill zone. A gritty battlefield, maybe a new Command and Conquer title that's not a bloody mobile game. But if Command the response to what we're building is any indicator, maybe they will find the guts to bring those games back the right way. And in the meantime, we'll see you guys in the wasteland on September 24th. Ooh, let's go! Cheers. Let's go! Hope it's good. The announcement is so cool. Yeah, this announcement is pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Just, just lay it out as it is, with some nice shots of the game and the beautiful art. Yeah, yeah. There's a gameplay trailer. Let's see the gameplay Stick with trailer. The care. War, famine, Doggy. destruction, death. The year is twenty XX. Twenty XX. the future. Forever Winter is a four-player sci-fi tactical survival horror shooter that takes place in a future horror where massive shooter. armies are skinning the bones of our once beautiful Earth. Four-player game, let's go. You are a scavenger, lovingly referred to as a scav. Within scav. this combat ecosystem, you assume the role Scout of leader and survivor. Trapped Ooh, loot. I like loot. Trapped military factions of the future, each with their own objectives. Outgunned. Under supply and constantly under attack, you must rely on cooperation and cunning to survive even minor enemy contact. I'm wondering if, like, 
the your weight will affect your movement because like if you loot too much are you gonna be slower because it seems like a reasonable thing right it seems like a logical thing to happen in this kind of game because you could see your loot here I don't know. Just, just a thought. Probably. Mm -hmm. I hope the game really looks this good. <laughs> Situational awareness is key in this world. Stop, look, and listen. Trigger discipline will save your life. A target missed is a bullet wasted. And not every battle is one oh, worth fighting. Oh, he stole the foot! Only kill what you can loot and get away with. Every time oh. you open fire, you are ringing the dinner bell. Make it worth it. Oh! Oh no! Welcome home, deep down in the guts of the city. It will also be visible for players who's carrying a lot of valuable loot and nothing. Oh! Wait, so the four player thingy, you can also see other players? You are playing in the same world and you can loot the other real players? Hmm. That's gonna be scary. Oh no! <laughs> Is it? I thought it's just PvE. PvE and PvP? Is it both PvP and PvE? Oh my god. Hmm. Is this a new Warhammer game? If yes, then cool. Nah, it's called Forever Winter. Refugees seek shelter here, and they choose your level because you have one of the few things that matter. Water. H2O brings water. traders, shops, and they allied the water. mercenaries that have your six. Oh, this is so cool. If you want to survive, you'll need to pick up jobs from the two warring factions. Be smart about the jobs you take. Oh, the art is so cool. The more cool, a faction dude. controls a sector, the more heavy units they will deploy, and the more dangerous it becomes. The more jobs you do, the more jobs you'll get. And the longer you'll keep everyone alive. No one gets by in this world all on their own. So don't be afraid to help others when you can. Donation stations are made available where high level vets can share gear with low level Ooh. baby scavs. Baby scavs. <laughs> oh, you can share your loot with the you lower levels. Your rig. That's pretty An cool. innovative modular platform that grants you advanced abilities. Pneumatic jump allows you to quickly traverse rough terrain and reach hard to get drops. Turrets allow you to shred, at least for a short time. And scanners allow you to scout ahead to plan your route. Mm. You want guns? You've got them. Modify and upgrade Downs. your firearms for the jobs you take. Always remember, the more gear and ammo you bring in, the less you can carry out. So spec accordingly. Mm, we got a plan, got a plan ahead. Game is so blunt and broad to what it is like for anime inspiration is blame mix with the Warhammer and Dark Souls. Ooh. Might want to tone down the app. I don't want to to fall the same way like I did to Starfield. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Lover accent. I'm from Philippines, the land of Jollibee. I've expunged my inner demons. Rom? Did you poop? I shit. <laughs> Rom does not poop, he shits. Okay, thanks for letting us know. I appreciate it. <laughs> Once you're kitted up, it's time to enter the macro city of Lost Angels. Megastructures meant to house millions lie vacant, while automated underground factories churn out war machines by the minute. As the war rages and destroys That's creepy, the world, dude. The way that this thing moves turn is out war creepy. Machines by the minute. Oh my god. As the war That's rages creepy. and destroys the world by day. AI driven machines nicknamed the Night Shift rebuild by night. Recovery units stalk the streets, dragging the wounded and the dead to be harvested for their organs. Oh, these things harvest you. Oh. I thought they were gonna eat the, the little guys. Mmm, the music? Music's pretty good. I sometimes poop, but this time was shit. <laughs> I feel like I lost five kilos. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh my god. Did you let out a single tear in a moment when it was done? <laughs> oh my god, Rob. Learn your surroundings. 
avoid patrols, and maybe you can make it out alive. Every job has rewards and consequences. The details matter. Make sure to dig into the intel thoroughly before heading out. Missions may include sabotaging faction facilities, collecting debts, and good old-fashioned MDKs. No matter how easy you think the job is, don't get complacent. Things can change at the drop of the case. Ooh, it's like a doggy. Doggy robot. If by some chance you find something of real value, you will be hunted. And the factions will send bosses oh, no. that far exceed the fire hunt. team's capabilities. Take note of their weaknesses and plan your strategy to take them down. Even fully geared, it will require coordination, teamwork, oh. and a bit of luck. There are only three types of scavs: the fast, the smart, and the dead. So don't the be fast, the smart, and the dead. Oh no! Hot. Remember, oh no! There are no heroes here. Just a few men and women running around in the dark with half-empty magazines. Oh Forever. my God! Dude, the, the music gave me goosebumps. Holy shit! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Basically, this game is what if the perspective about rebels that refuses to praise the emperor of man heresy oh no it's like the other survival game generation zero oh, i don't know that is but this one looks pretty interesting grim dark yeah yeah, yeah. That looks pretty interesting the Recovery unit stock the art is definitely one of the plus points for me the art and also it's called pilot playing co-op co was fun mm. Mm. Yes, good. The game looks promising. Yeah, yeah. Looks good. Looks promising. Hope it's uh, good. Hope it goes well. Good luck to them. The fun dog. It's art. This is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song. <laughs>